I can hear you. We've lost you. I think we lost audio again. You know the thing that drives me batty about wallet code? Is it seems like it could have been so much easier. <laughs> kind of like Discord. I heard you there. Just gonna chill out and chill out. Let you sort it. <laughs> While you're gonna do that, and this is gonna build. I am going to get a cup of coffee. I can hear you fine. I mean, it's kind of choppy. Nothing too bad. Anyone in the audience weigh in on it? Can I hear you? Should be good. Uh, it should be, but it doesn't work. I can hear you. <laughs> Close you. Yeah, why don't you one more? But I did score some pretzels. So that's all fine. Pretzels should be like a staple of any bar environment. The salt makes you thirsty. Cuts the taste of the tequila. It's like perfect. What about it? I might have to switch over to that if my mic isn't working. 
I don't know. I don't know how you have your thing covered. Yeah, I know we're making changes. I might just have to take this one over. I don't know. Did it work? Work, well, work? I'm trying to switch it over to something else. Uh, you can you can hear me, Tim? Just low. Tim, yeah. the magician. <laughs> Actually, what did they call him? Tim, the enchanter. Oh, I like that. That's nice. Yeah, okay, so I had to switch it over to my webcam audio, so that's it's not going to be the best quality, unfortunately, and I do apologize. But we're going to get this show rolling. Um, thank you all to everyone that put up with that and <laughs> for being here. Uh, always amazing to be here, be with the community, uh, see how everyone's doing, <laughs> and uh, really just getting feedback. I mean, we love to have feedback, uh, you know, where we can improve. Uh, anything that we can add to uh, the project is always a positive. Let me switch back over to the desktop screen. Make sure we're missing a key. There we go. So just looking at the website, we have added a few things to this. Uh, mostly the uh, driver uh, bios. That was a big thing that we've added. Uh, also the newsletter. Uh, just scrolling through all this, I mean, you can see we've covered this in the past, but just giving a basic breakdown of circuit, looking at the different coin specs, the roadmap as well, which I have to say we're months ahead of schedule. Uh, we've only been open for three months. I mean, we've basically completed everything that we should for this year. Uh, primarily, we're working on some uh, technology that's gonna be amazing for the 2020 season. Looking at our uh, sponsors, also our exchanges, and then the newsletter. The newsletter is a huge thing. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, uh, make sure that you do you can do it right here and then also just lost it again hmm. youtube youtube so tim is messing with me great i'll get him back for that later um <laughs> uh, but yeah so making sure that you subscribe to the newsletter um for no, that's fine. No worries. Thank you for being here. I truly do appreciate it. And I always try to tune in for your live streams. I always enjoy them. And uh, the last one that I was able to tune into was a really good time. Uh, for, for the first thing I'd like to cover, and let me just actually bring up this slide. So Scott Dunan, he is the number 95 uh, legend card driver. Uh, excellent guy, excellent driver. Uh, this is actually the first driver that we had uh, that we were able to sponsor. Uh, so I, I definitely appreciate him, you know, taking the chance with the cryptocurrency. I mean, that's just a new thing to people that to actually be sponsored by a cryptocurrency. <laughs> so uh, for him to really just take that step was a huge thing for us. I'd like to bring up his oops, the newsletter. So the newsletter, like I was speaking on, is you'll periodically receive these if there's any type of news or releases. We always launch within the newsletter before we do, uh, let's say on any social medias, uh, just to really incentivize and then show people the appreciation for subscribing to this newsletter. Uh, so with Scott, I mean, you can really just go through 
view his um, his official web uh, page that we have within the circuit website. Also, he has his social medias. There's a bio for him. Uh, he's been within racing for 12 years. He's been driving for uh, almost six years. And then we do also place promo codes. So promo codes is a huge thing. Um, you know, you get to read just on the latest announcements. You get the promo code. And with this promo code, you can actually use it within the faucet, uh, which is an awesome thing. And then, of course, we have our social medias down here. So really looking forward to the upcoming season. Uh, we're currently in negotiation with a lot of drivers. And not only drivers, but there are things, let's say uh, car clubs is another. And then just different facets of uh, competitive racing. Uh, we're definitely looking forward to that. Next thing I'd like to bring up. So Mike Bellinger. Um, amazing driver i mean i'll show within the news uh, letter uh, just his breakdown of his uh, accomplishments that he's had uh, he's a championship driver as you can see within uh, the picture i mean those are his trophies um, just really an amazing guy and really happy that he did team up with circuit uh, we're currently speaking with him in regards to the 2020 racing season um, but i mean i i believe you know i I really just know it's it's a great thing for you know both of our I guess well, our project and then and also him as well so we're really excited for that I'll switch over to the newsletter so this is what I was just speaking on right now you can see 2019 and then it goes down in reverse chronological order uh, but as you can see starting at the bottom you know top five finishes uh, we did have placed third in the rookie championship now uh, once you move up I mean you can see the multiple championship titles the podium finishes i mean it's just it's wild the accomplishments amazing driver and i uh, was so lucky to be able to meet him and secure a sponsorship for the 2019 season so moving into 2020 i mean we would love to have him um, on the team that would be an amazing step for us uh, and definitely looking forward to it make sure that you check him out within the description uh, you have uh, the, all the racers, social media sites. So you have the Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, so on and so forth. Uh, make sure to check them out. I mean, for, I can think of a few videos where it's actually first person uh, perspective. So just actually seeing the driver at it from their perspective when they're racing. It's just a really cool thing. So make sure to check in the description. The next thing, let's go ahead and bring this over. So if, anyone didn't see uh, the partnership that we have with rent a race car this is actually a really cool idea uh, this is something that I would like to do myself and really just bring anyone out to it rent a race car is where you get to have the experience of what it would be like to be behind the wheel uh, so we actually go over to frequently asked questions it gives a good breakthrough of you know how much it costs what's actually included they'll actually outfit you with all of your gear and then uh, they'll provide you a racing vehicle. So when you actually go to the track, I mean, you have everything that you need without spending a, basically tens of thousands of dollars. Uh, so you can actually just scroll through. Their website link is within the description as well. Uh, like I said, this is something I definitely want to do myself. Um, Rubbins Racing. What's that? Rubbins Racing. Um, you never heard that phrase, I Rubbins <laughs> Racing? I don't think so. What is that? It just means you're not racing unless you're bumping into the car next to you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice. Nice. Um, you got to give somebody that love tap. Yeah, there you come go. Up behind them. Let them know you're there. That's what it's all about. Safety. Uh, so they have a gallery as well. Just really cool to see the different things. Um, so the vehicles actually do have the circuit logo on them, uh, which is actually a really cool thing. Um, I just like seeing the different pictures and everything they have to offer. Uh, but yeah, definitely check them out. Now for the next one, uh, Mr. Otto. So uh, one of the co-founders of Mr. Otto is actually a fellow day trader, which was a really cool thing. Um, I've you know been, I, I mean, we've known each other for a year or so now, uh, but really, really cool guy. And uh, I had no idea that he actually owned um, really anything related to automotive. Uh, so this is actually his website right here, um, mrautomotivestore.com. Uh, it's in the description as well. 
Oh yeah, the old school, old school NASCAR term. Very true. Um, but yeah, within the description, so they actually sell, and I'll just go right over to it. All these products, I mean, these are really like the, the top tier. As you can see, there is the sponsorship care package. Uh, they sponsor over 80 vehicles. Uh, so what occurs is once they accept the sponsorship with you, they'll send you out this care package and they actually have a business uh, card, circuit card. Let's see if I'm able to show it right here. Uh, so with all the information on it. And um, so once someone actually accepts that package and they're just able to see the cryptocurrency uh, business card, which I think is pretty phenomenal. Uh, but just going through everything that they offer and um, also within the description, everything's in the description. Uh, it's like a crystal ball. But there is, uh, if you were to purchase something through here, use promo code CIRCUIT and you get 15% off at checkout, which I think is awesome. Uh, definitely an amazing guy. Top tier products. Uh, so Mr. Automotive Store, 15% off at checkout. I'm definitely gonna check that out myself. I bought a new car, so uh, you know, gotta keep it clean while I can. Let me go through, so as you saw earlier, this is the partner page. Um, so we do have volatility trading there, Mr. Otto, um, and really everyone um, that we have partnered. This is specifically geared towards the cryptocurrency and also, <clears throat> excuse me, the trading aspects. Um, but so once we partner someone, they're placed on here. Uh, Spectre Security and of course, Lone Wolf Day Trading up there as well. Yeah, we'll definitely we'll definitely hook it up. Uh, I'll make sure that that's changed out. I'll place a reminder so we can do that. Thank you for pointing that out, Tim. Okay. For um, so actually, just going back to um, Scott Din, also Mike Bellinger. So all the graphic work is done by uh, Dilo. He is our graphics designer. Professional. I mean, everything looks spot on. I mean, these are. Just uh, amazing. Any type of graphic work that you see associated with Circuit is accomplished by him, uh, primarily. I mean, there's there's something or there's some uh, parts that may be you know done arbitrarily, but primarily it's done by Dan. So uh, definitely amazing to have him on a team. Make everything uh, just very visually appealing, and that's that's really a big thing that we take pride in. We never release something unless it's a polished product. Uh, that's just kind of how we operate. We don't do anything halfway because um, you never know who's going to be looking at your project. And if you take shortcuts on one thing, that may be the first thing that someone sees. And then that's how they're going to view you for the rest of the time. And it's always about that first impression. Um, so with Digi, with Dan, amazing uh, people. Very happy to be on this team. You got anything for us, Digi? I I think you covered most of the stuff. I know that we uh, want to get the community's ideas on some upcoming things because uh, primarily we kicked off during the racing season. So now the racing season is coming down to an end for summer racing. Mm -hmm. But there are plenty of things that go on in the winter. Yep. So if the community can just weigh in on this and let us know, you know, in the comment section or reach out directly to us, different kinds of racing. Um, some things that I know we're interested in is RC racing. Um, they do a lot of that year round. So we, we definitely, if you're in an RC race club, if you know where there's an RC race track, we would definitely love to talk to these people. Mm -hmm. um, so I know that's a personal one of mine. Uh, in the Southern states or places where they do indoor motocross, there may be a season coming up for that. So if anybody you know, hears about that, uh, definitely let us know. Racing comes in a lot of different forms, so it doesn't mean that it's just with four wheels. Um, and a lot of different people are into racing at a lot of different ages. So whether you're in Boy Scouts doing a you know a little slot car derby thing, whether you're a teenager or adult, you're doing the racing uh, in like the RC or the the amateur, or if you're into the professional. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you work at a racetrack, let us know what you think. Um, we want to get viewpoints of a lot of different people. Yeah, absolutely. so there's that. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it's, um, as he spoke on, I mean, we are reaching out to, a lot of people think that we're strictly NASCAR or Formula One. I think that's what they associate when they speak of racing. Um, but it goes much further than that. It's like RC cars, like Digi was speaking on, um, monster truck, I mean, drones. It just goes on and on. Um, so if you can race it, we want to do something with it. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, and that's the amazing thing about circuit is it's not focused on just one field or one uh, facet of the industry. It's everything all together. Uh, so we're not limited on, oh, we can only look at this type of vehicle or this one right here. Uh, but, I mean, we have the legend car. We have the sports truck. We're currently speaking with another driver. Um, th there's actually a lot of negotiation that's going on right now. So ramping up to that 2020 season, uh, we're also coming out with new technology. Uh, so with this technology, with this mobile technology, um, that's a huge thing, especially within the crypto space. I mean, there's projects that are out for years and years and they don't have something like this. So for us to only be out for three months, we're primarily, I mean, we're pretty much close to being completed with it. It's really just testing it out, make sure it's polished, make sure everything works smooth and everything like that. But with three months out to the community, I mean, I always have to keep on repeating that because that's phenomenal. <laughs> Um, so I, I definitely think, you know, everyone in the staff, all the team members, uh, the community overall for all the feedback. Uh, if you have any, like, again, within here, if you have any questions whatsoever, please let us know any feedback whatsoever. I mean, we definitely want that. Uh, the day that you stop taking feedback, you think that you're too good for it is the day you're going to fail. And that's the way that we view it moving forward. Everyone's going to have their own opinions, but that's what makes it great is we can have um, basically opinions and views from every side of it because I may not see something that someone else sees so the more people that we have in it um, then the more perspective that we do have uh, so Tim said uh, there's an oval in my kitchen that loops into my living room and through the dining room the kids race it every day would that be considered owning a racetrack <laughs> throw some numbers on them video <laughs> record it Send it in to us. <laughs> I'm sure we can work something out. That's awesome. That's awesome. Thank you for that, Tim. Always, always the uh, life of the party. So definitely. The community that. showing us what's going on, giving us content, and that is always accepted. It's always welcome. Yeah. Uh, there's some really creative and funny, and you know, just all sorts of people uh, that go into community. So if if you have a blooper, uh, a skit, even if you're there watching a race and, and there's something that you want to share, well, that's what communities do. Send it in. We'll highlight it. Make us laugh, you know? Yeah, of course. Um, so along with the mobile technology, so we do have the Discord wallets now. Uh, so the Discord wallet is primarily go to Discord and there's a, uh, an invite link in the description as well. You go in there, you register for a wallet, and then there's going to be periodic times where our coin is rained or just dropped on the community. Uh, that is taking place right now because we are live streaming, so it's somewhat of a celebration. Uh, so thank you for to Adachi for heading that. I really do appreciate it. Uh, again, our, our staff works very hard, and it's it doesn't go without being seen. Uh, there are days where we have very long hours, but it's all worth it overall. Um, so again, thank you very much for that. Um, I'm really excited for the mobile wallets. <laughs> I have to say I am. I know there's a lot of work. Uh, you know, it doesn't just appear, uh, but it, that's just a huge step in the right direction because once that's accomplished, being able to utilize this uh, on the fly, if you go to a racetrack utilizing it, and that's within our white paper as well. Uh, so if you were to go to the website, let me go ahead and put the... Uh, Uh, if you go to the website, you can see the white paper uh, within the documents. Uh, there's actually multiple languages. Um, when we do the different languages for the white paper for the AND thread, uh, we're not using Google Translate. We're actually um, locating individuals that speak the language and actually translate it for us just to ensure that everything's correct um, and it's not you know, just some really wild thing. Uh, but within the white paper, 
this is actually the layout of, I mean, the project overall. Uh, for anyone that hasn't seen it, I mean, we do have the background information, uh, the primary objective of Circuit, and it's really just ensuring that everyone has the highest quality racing experience. We go down to the different uh, specs of the coin, the different phases, and it goes on. Uh, but what you will see, go right here. So um, actually utilizing it and the unlimited value of the coin. I mean, you can use it for concessions, merchandise, racing tickets, stop passes, uh, goes on and on and on. And that's what we're gearing up for with this 2020 season, this technology that's coming out um, is for this to occur. I mean, this is a huge thing for us and for the project overall. You got anything for me, Digi? I just feel like you, you really touched upon it. I mean, when you open up a crypto like this, there's a lot of things to do and usually we split it into front end and back end things. So front end things we're a little bit more talkative with community about, we're a little bit more transparent about, you know, there's a little bit more input about. But then there's all these crazy things that always go on in the background and not everything that you do does it always make it into the project. You know, there's a lot of you thought something was one way and you start looking into it a lot more and then you find out, well, I mean, we may be able to achieve that down the road, but for right now, that's a little bit beyond what we're trying to do. And it's, it's weird because you kind of end up with two different lists. You know, we keep moving things from, you know, what we want to do to the list of we can do it. And I think that that's a really strong point of ours. So when you've got an environment that is kind of really built, it's really technically eco-friendly. Uh, it makes it easy to extend upon it and bring better things. So yeah. some of the things you talked about are really going to be a jump ahead. Other things are going to be kind of like an add-on. So like we know the mobile wallet is an add-on for our web wallet, which is it's great. So the web wallet, that's not an add on to anything. That's a standalone product. So um, to have applications working together uh, to give us additional functionality, that's that's a really good way to work your project. Um, so as long as we keep, you know, approaching the task the way we do, I'm sure in another three months, uh, we're going to be really way ahead. And when it comes to getting set up for next year, I think it's going to put us in a really, really good position to make a hardcore push into the, it's like this year we did our spearhead, you know, and we penetrated that market. And now that we're in that market, all of this time up until next year, we're going to be contacting different drivers. So people may see the circuit logo in a lot more places by the time racing NASCAR season kicks off next year be completely you know we could be on billboards we could be on banners we could be sponsoring at tracks you know you could possibly see us with merchandising and that's just within the first year of a cryptocurrency is just a really really good sign yeah absolutely it's... and that's those are all positive things to have when you look at the project yeah i i don't because cryptocurrency of course is new it's, a, it's just new to a lot of people. I mean, it's only been around for about a decade now, and a great majority of people didn't enter, I mean, until, I mean, I guess I would say 2017. So they don't really, I guess they're not able to view really what happens behind the scenes as far as, you know, you could look at this and you see the website, you see all this stuff going on, um, but that's not really the norm for cryptocurrencies that have been to the public for only three months. I mean, that's normally not how it goes. I mean, there's cryptocurrencies out there that don't have a website until let's say six months or a year into it, um, so on and so forth. So with the dedication, the drive, um, and really just a passion for it, there's that just really gives us that extra bump uh, ahead of a lot, like, it gives us an extra bump really to just 
shine, I guess you could say. Um, you know, not, and it's not really putting down other projects. It's just kind of giving an overall view of where we're at and really where we're heading to. Um, so with the 2020 season coming up, all the negotiations that we have, all the partners and sponsors that we have, uh, there's just so much potential there. And I mean, time's gonna tell. I mean, talk is cheap in a sense. You know, we could say this all day, uh, but actually being able to show everybody, that's where all that work really just pays off for us, where we're actually able to deliver to the community. And that's the best thank you for really being there for us. And, you know, everyone starts somewhere. Um, so I'm just very excited moving into the future, I have to say. So thank you to everybody. That's, that's a huge thing. Oh, it's, it's absolutely huge. Uh, as the community grows and uh, the popularity spreads on the coin, you know, you're going to see a lot more contribution come from just all over. You know, you're going to have people who like our drivers now. If you think of the feedback uh, that we're getting from drivers uh, or the ability to get feedback from drivers, we know what the drivers want. So while they're in a car racing around, you know, we can take all of that knowledge and be like, well, you know, how can we solve this problem? Uh, you know, how do we give insight into what's going on? You know, it gives us, you know, the possibility to look at, you know, GoPro video, you know, interacting with the driver, you know, not while he's like, of course, racing, right? But uh, definitely having the driver being able to either update the community themselves and engage and talk with the community. I just feel that those are things that are really positive. Yeah, absolutely. You know, dr drivers can tell us what, you know, they want. Users can tell us what we want. And then if we compare the user and the driver up, you know, that's, that's a personal relationship. So again, uh, racing is just full of possibilities. Yeah, it was, um, so one of the drivers uh, we were speaking with, um, he had a logo of Circuit, of course, uh, but he was telling us like the feedback that he was getting from other drivers, because of course they would see the logo and it says cryptocurrency. So when you see that keyword cryptocurrency, then you're like, wait, what is this? What is this crypto stuff? Because <laughs> everyone's kind of caught wind of it, but a lot of people still believe Bitcoin's the only cryptocurrency so when they see circuit and cryptocurrency, um, it really just brings a large interest. And um, I think that's just a big thing is, you know, they gain a lot of attention from just that cryptocurrency. Like even my car has cryptocurrency on it. So when I'm driving, um, you know, people can see cryptocurrency and they're like, wait, what is, what is that? <laughs> you know? So I think it's just yeah, kind of a, a cool thing, you know? Yeah, it is. It's people. a cool thing. I mean, yeah. if, if you're a driver and, you know, let's face it, drivers have this little, like, clicky culture where they're at competition with each other. And sometimes that extends to the brand, the look, the fame, the who's hip to what, who's got a better fan base. You see this kind of stuff go on. Yeah. So, you know, most people by now have heard of Bitcoin, but to the drivers in the racing industry, Bitcoin's not for them. It's just a Bitcoin, but circuit circuit is something that's for them. Yeah, exactly. You know, so it can have a completely different meaning to these people than Bitcoin does. Yeah, there's uh, one of the there's a community member that just joined and it was funny. Like the first thing he said within discord was um, like, I love competitive racing. Why haven't I heard about you guys sooner? <laughs> <laughs> like just little things like that because i mean we are the innovators within the competitive racing realm you know this is a cryptocurrency specifically geared towards the industry um so i, I thought that was pretty cool there's people that message me and they say like i race this you know would you sponsor me i do this would you sponsor me um and little things like that you know that it, it's pretty cool that people reach out to you when you know, they're intrigued with what you're offering. Um, so just just little things like that. Oh, it's great. 
it's it's really great. I mean, you know, you find people from very little knowledge into what we're doing. I mean, almost foreign to be exact. And then you find people that have knowledge into what we're doing. It seems like either which one we're talking about, they're just as equally as surprised. But, yeah, if anyone has any questions whatsoever, um, Vivi, I believe we covered all the topics unless I'm leaving something out. I believe we covered everything that we wanted to cover. So, I mean, yeah. we've okay. if we have, you know, people uh, are listening and they have questions or mm -hmm. things like that, you know, they can throw those out if they want. Yeah. And, um, and maybe let's, let's retell them what the discount code is. Yeah, so discount code circuit, and I'll actually just go ahead and bring it up right here. Uh, so at Mr. Automotive Store, uh, so Volatility Trading said, uh, win Lambo. Mm. <laughs> mm. Tim always has jokes. Uh, but yeah, Vault, or I'm sorry, uh, Mr. Automotive Store, uh, also, I'm actually going to get these myself, but circuit promo code and you get 15% off at checkout. Of course, uh, the description is giving an overview of the sponsors, the partners, the exchanges, uh, rent a race car, drivers. It, it really gives all the information. So make sure to subscribe to the newsletter. That's the huge thing right there. Uh, you're basically going to get information before anyone else does. We make sure that newsletter is placed on a priority. Uh, just to show appreciation for the individuals that have subscribed to that. And also there's promo codes for free circuits. So, I mean, how could you pass that up? Um, but volatility trading win Lambo. That's awesome. I always love to see that one. Um, yeah, it's really just about, these people ask me all the time, you know, with cryptocurrency and all that stuff. And yeah, we're in somewhat of a bear market, but it's really about finding a project that you're interested in and knowing has a very strong, dedicated team, that's gonna be hard to find, um, but they are out there. So, I mean, I, I have no doubts that Circuit has a lot of potential, and I hate to say the words win Lambo, but I mean, there's a lot of potential there. So I don't really focus too much on win Lambo, I focus more on getting that next driver, or getting that technology released, I know all this hard work is going to pay off, and the byproduct will be um, some type of monetary value of some sort. But primarily, just thinking about how can I make this project better, how can I get us to the next level, and really working day in and day out. I mean, Digi and I were, our call was like 27 hours when we released. It was something like that. Mm. I, I know we went over 24 hours the day we released. But uh, that was There's, a fun one. Uh, it's, it's crazy, people. Uh, you, when you start a cryptocurrency and you go to do a release or a launch, mm -hmm. you know, there's a lot of things that can happen that just are really unexpected. Like, no matter how many times you checked before, the wallet worked. But all of a sudden, now it doesn't. And, you know, it's unexpected things that pop up that you have to deal with on the fly you know you can't script it so it's it's very interesting and when you first release something no one's ever seen it before so it takes time for people to digest it some people are quicker than others um and it's just the mass amount of opinion that you get back is kind of like a bombardment but you sort through it you know what i mean you it's just, it's kind of like, wow. Um, it's a rough ride. It's fun though. Yeah, it's fun, but it is a lot of time. I mean, we've easily put, from the time we started working on this cryptocurrency easily, I mean, over a thousand hours easily. Uh, oh yeah, add up all the hour conversations here, hour conversations, the yeah. amount of time you spend working alone, add all that up, thousand hours easy way more than that in my opinion oh yeah but worth it oh yeah it's definitely worth it it's something that you can be proud of um, the act of creating something you know what can i create um yeah. 
you know, and you, you come up with circuit and it's like, it wasn't just one idea. It was one idea that started the, the snowball, but then everybody kept throwing ideas. And this is the conglomerate of all of these hours of idea sharing, exploring, asking questions. Um, it, it's, it's a fun thing to do, to be a creator. It's, it's completely different than going into a cryptocurrency that somebody else created and buying it and trying to be a member of their community. It's, it's a completely different experience and a completely different rush. Yeah, so Tim said, I spend a thousand hours thinking of Jonathan and another thousand wondering what hair jelly uses. <laughs> All good things to wonder. Oh, Maybe okay. one day we'll get his like shopping list. <laughs> oh, Tim. Yeah. Tim's got that kind of it puts the lotion on the skin or it gets the hose again kind of thing going on right now. Yeah, yeah, and that's that's why that's why we love him. Uh, um, I would I would hire security to walk you out to your car at night. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if anyone doesn't have any questions, uh, again, thank you so much for being here, taking the time out of your, um, really just out of your schedule, whatever you're doing, wherever you are in the world. I really do appreciate it. Looking forward to the 2020 season. Uh, a lot of negotiation. We're definitely branching out. Uh, we have, um, well, we're currently negotiating with uh, the Legend car, also the sports truck. Uh, and then you're going to see some other facets coming out. So definitely excited about that. I know I have a phone call tomorrow, so that's going to be uh, fun as well to um, see how everything's going with there. But actually, the phone call tomorrow is going to be really interesting because this is a uh, it's not actually one country. This is multiple country. Um, so just little things like that. You know, you never know who knows who and, you know, really where it's going to go. Uh, so it's really crazy to see. You know, just a stock trader, you know, going over to cryptocurrency, working on this project and now speaking with, you know, all these people. It's just a crazy ride for me, I know. And uh, Digi's been doing crypto for quite some time. So, uh, but I know he's been, you know, very successful in what he does. And, uh, you know, uh, for reaching out to him, he's taught me a lot, definitely a lot. Um, so, I mean, that and was... Just think I only know the tip, the iceberg, bro. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, crypto is huge. Yeah. Huge. Like mind boggling huge. That's true. That's like, true. It's like, it seems like crypto is bigger than space itself. That huge. Yeah. There, there's definitely a lot that goes, there's a lot behind the scenes to crypto. I don't think, like, when we were looking at like the thousand lines of code, I don't think people actually know or understand all those lines of code for one thing. Like, it's just, it's crazy to actually see it. And I don't know, it's, it's wild, but uh, we definitely have a strong team, very knowledgeable team, very passionate team, very professional team. Um, so that's, I mean, that's leaps and bounds ahead of a lot of different things out there. Um, but again, thank you all so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Um, Digi, thank you so much for taking the time out of your schedule to be here as well. Um, you know, definitely very excited. I mean, I, I keep on saying it, but I'm really excited. 2020, it's going to be a really big year. Um, and that's just really for cryptocurrency overall, I believe. So uh, looking forward to it. Uh, make sure to check the description, see the drivers, see everything that we offer. And um, you know, just take some time to look around. Do you have any questions whatsoever? Uh, you're able to uh, email us. Uh, there's multiple emails, but there is actually one floating below me in the screen. Uh, you can check out that email. You can also go to the Discord. We're on Twitter, so you can also send messages on there. We're pretty easy to get a hold of. And that's the nice thing about crypto is you can just message one of the founding members and boom, there you are. Uh, it's not like the stock market where you're never gonna see those people ever in your life and you'll never hear a word from them. Uh, cryptocurrency is more down to earth uh, in some aspects. I mean, there are certain people out there, but for circuit, we're definitely down to earth and uh, 
really love to have feedback from everyone. Um, so again, thank you all, everyone so much, and we will see you on the next video. Take care. Later.